Hello class, myself Kishan Pala, I am going to start introduction of concrete technology. What is concrete technology? Concrete technology deals with the study of the properties of the concrete and its practical applications. Which are the properties of the concrete mass? There are mainly two types of the properties. First one is a fresh properties and the second one is a hardened properties. What is the fresh properties of the concrete mass? Fresh properties regarded to the mixing of the concrete, transporting of the concrete, placing of the concrete and finishing of the concrete mass. And fresh concrete can be molded into the any desirable shape. What about the hardened properties of the concrete? Hardened properties regarded to the strengthening of the concrete mass. Concrete technology deals with the certain area. I will discuss about few points let us start from the first point is the ingredients of the concrete and the properties of the concrete mass which are the ingredients of the concrete coarse aggregates fine aggregates cement water air mass and the admixtures and the properties of the concrete are fresh properties and the hardened properties let us discuss about the second point which is the admixture admixtures is the ingredient of the concrete mass which is other than the basic ingredient like cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, water and air mass. And we are adding these admixtures to modifying the properties of the concrete mass. Third point is a mixed design. We are applying the mixed design to getting the certain strength, certain compressive strength at the end of the 28 days and the finalizing the proportion of the ingredients of the concrete mass and the last point is uh, different types of the concrete like self compacting concrete high performance concrete and the ready mix concrete so this subject deals with this certain area and we will discuss about in detail advantages of concrete technology You can get higher compressive strength with using of the concrete mass and you can get up to 100 Newton per mm square of the compressive strength. It means you can get up to the M100 grade of the concrete mass. Second point, you can mold it into the any desirable shape as a point of view, the architectural or the design purpose. And the third point is a Ingredients of the concrete mass like coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement, water mass and admixtures are available locally. So it can be possible at any location. Fourth point is the concrete has the higher fire resistance compared to the other materials like steel and timber. Next point is it can be possible the underwater construction with using of the concrete mass and you have to just add the chemical properties like admixtures, superplasticizer and plasticizer. Next point is special concrete can be used in the different environmental condition like hot weather condition or cold weather condition. Next point is there is a possible that fast construction with using of the precast element and you can complete your project in short time of the large project. Last point is overall cost is low as compared to the other materials like steel and timber. So this is the economical material. Composition of concrete. 
you can see in the photos these are the main ingredients of the concrete mass first one is a cement second one is aggregates like fine aggregates and coarse aggregates third one is the admixtures fourth one is the air mass and last one is the water mass let us start with the cement mass cement we are adding into the concrete mass as a binder material next one is the aggregates there are the two types of the aggregates first one is a fine aggregates and the second one is a coarse aggregates what is the fine aggregate the size of the aggregate which is less than 4.75 mm is known as a fine aggregates what is the coarse aggregates the size of the aggregates which is greater than 4.75 mm is known as a coarse aggregates next ingredient is water mass we are adding the water mass into the concrete for completing the hydration process and react chemically with the cement mass and next ingredient is the air mass there are the two types of the air mass first one is the air entrapped air and second one is the entrained air and next ingredients is the admixture admixture is the ingredient of the concrete other than the basic ingredient like cement water air mass and aggregates and we are adding the, these ingredients to modifying the properties of the concrete mass so let us understand the all the ingredients in details we will start from the cement cement mass we are using the cement mass in the concrete as a binder material if we talk about the early history of the cement in 1824 Joseph Espini invested the Portland cement by the burning the clay grounded chalk and the clay until the carbon dioxide was removed. This process may be regarded as the leading knowledge of the manufacture of the Portland cement. James Frost also patent of this kind and established a factory in the London district. Next ingredient of the concrete mass is the aggregates. If we classify the aggregate based on the size there are the two types of the aggregates first one is a fine aggregates and the second one is a coarse aggregate the size of the aggregate which is less than 4.75 mm is known as a fine aggregate and the size of the aggregate which is greater than 4.75 mm is known as a coarse aggregate the, if we talk about the importance of the aggregate the aggregate provide the concrete mass the 75% of the volume of the concrete mass and it's provide the bulking of the concrete and its effect to the property of the concrete mass like fresh property and hardened property example if you are not using the proper fine aggregate this will affect the fresh property of the concrete mass if you are not using the proper coarse aggregate in your concrete mass this will affect the strengthening of the concrete mass and i would like to add one more point in the concrete mass that you can increase the density of the concrete with using of the different size of the aggregates you can use the combination of the different size like 12 mm 16 mm 12 mm and 20 mm and you can increase the density of the concrete mass next ingredient is the water mass before the starting this ingredient i would explain there are the four types of the box component of the cement mass c2s dry calcium silicate c3s dry calcium silicate c3a dry calcium aluminate and c4af tetra calcium alumina fluoride so there are the four major box compound of the cement mass let us start the water requirement for the concrete mass it has been estimated that the major box compound of the cement dry calcium silicate c2s and dry calcium silicate c3a it has been estimated that it's required the 23 percentage by the weight of the cement mass this water is known as a bound water and this is already available some quantity within the gel pores is approx 15 percentage so you can calculate the total 
requirement of the water mass is 23 percentage which is bound water and 15 percentage is known as a gel water so total water required 38 percentage for the complete hydration process if you are not providing the sufficient water mass for the complete hydration this will affect the strength of the concrete mass and if you are adding the more water mass in the concrete this will becomes the porous concrete next ingredient is the admixture admixture is the ingredient of the concrete mass other than the basic ingredient like cement aggregate water and air mass we are adding this ingredient for the modifying the properties of the concrete mass if we talk about the doses of the admixture it's depend on the type of the admixture and requirement of the properties of the concrete mass it's generally 0.05 to 2 percentage by the weight of the cement mass and use nowadays in our country the special type of the concrete uses is increasing day by day and use of the ready mix concrete has really promoted with using of the admixtures if we talk about the different type of the admixtures so mainly there are the few types of the admixture available in our market first one is accelerators and retarders accelerators is decreasing the setting time of the cement and retarders is increasing the setting time of the cement so this is the effecting on the fresh property of the concrete mass second one is the air entering agent and the third one is a pozzolanic material this admixture used for the increasing the workability of the concrete mass and the last one is a waterproofing admixture so these are the main types of the admixture available in our market if we talk about properties modified by the admixture so first one is a setting time you can increase or decrease the setting time of the cement like initial setting time final setting time you can increase the workability of the concrete with using of this admixture and third one is the air entering time, and you can increase the workability of the concrete mass so these properties is mainly focused on the fresh property of the concrete mass next ingredient is a air mass so there are the two types of the air mass you can classify it entrapped air and entrained air what is the entrapped air entrapped air is the voids present in the concrete due to the insufficient compaction and entrained air this is the intensely process you are doing in the concrete mass the entrained air is the intensely incorporate made spherical bubbles and you are doing the intensely in the concrete mass if we talk about the size of the entrapped air is ranging from 10 to 1000 micron or more if we talk about the size of the entrained air so range from 5 to 80 microns and if we talk about the distribution of the air mass so there is a difference between entrapped air and entrained air so in entrapped air the voids are not uniformly distributed because this is not an intensely process this type of the air happen due to the incompaction of the concrete mass and entrained air are uniformly distributed because this is the intensely process we are doing on the concrete mass If we talk about the authorities field in the concrete technology, Indian Standard Institute ISI, which is placed in New Delhi, Indian Road Congress IRC, New Delhi, Concrete Association of India, Mumbai, Structural Engineering Research Institute, Roorkee, Cement Research Institute of India, New Delhi, Cement Corporation, India, New Delhi and Road Research Laboratory RRL which is placed in London UK and last one is American Concrete Institute ACI which is placed in USA thank you